welcome back to my channel electrical concepts my name is avigyan roy so in this video lecture i'll be discussing about the relative speeds of magnetic fields in three phase induction motor so there is always a confusion regarding the relative speeds between uh, the rotor body and the rotor field or the stator body and the rotor field like that so this confusions will be clear in this video so watch till the end so here there is an example that i have shown here so see here there is an equivalence so here stator body i have compared with a person standing at platform suppose a railway platform observing two trains train a and b running parallel in the same direction and let's say this train a and train b these two trains are having different speeds okay next is stator field is assumed to be train a rotor body is assumed to be train b and rotor field is assumed to be a person running inside train b in a direction same as train b okay so now see the first point speed of stator rotating field with respect to stator body is ns okay why because stator body is a standstill object here stator body is what a person suppose you and you are standing on a railway platform and you are observing two trains so with respect to you the speed of uh, the stator rotating field will be what the absolute speed okay and here in this example the speed uh, stator rotating field is nothing but what see stator field is nothing but train a so you are looking at the train a and so obviously you will observe the absolute speed of train a just because you are stand still so for example train a okay just a second so for example train a is running at a 50 km per hour okay so train is running at 50 km per hour and train b is running at a 40 km per hour just imagine okay so ns is also 50 ns is also 50 what is the next point speed of rotor body with respect to stator body is nr okay so here what is uh, the rotor body rotor body is nothing but train b so here nr is 40 okay nr is 40 so nr is 40 now what is the next point speed of the rotor rotating field with respect to rotor body is ns minus nr so now this thing needs to be understood what i have said here the speed of rotor rotor rotating field with respect to rotor body okay so here what is uh, the rotor field see here i have written rotor field is nothing but a person running inside train b in a direction same as train b so suppose your friend is inside the train b okay and for example your friend looks at looks outside the window and your friend uh, observes the train a which is running at 50 km per hour okay so now your friend wants to experience the relative speed be between this these two trains so train a is having 50 km per hour and train b is having 40 km per hour so what is the relative speed between train a and train b 10 km per hour so now your friend wants to experience that same speed okay so in order to experience that same speed your friend starts running at the same speed that means 10 km per hour okay so that is why here i have written speed of rotor rotating field with respect to rotor body is ns minus nr so here rotor field is nothing but your friend so what will be the speed of uh, rotor field that means your friend ns minus nr that means 50 minus 40 that means 10 km per hour okay so just try to uh, relate uh, these two things so your friend wants to experience the relative speed what is the relative speed 10 km per hour so your friend in order to experience that speed your friend starts running at that speed just uh, let's say okay in actual case what happens in actual case see this rotor field how does it generate as we know according to the uh, electromagnetic law of faraday what happens well, that rotating uh, synchronously rotating magnetic field of stator that actually cuts the rotor conductor 
so there is a rate of change of flux or that the rate of change of uh, due to the rate of change of flux what happens and emf is induced in the rotor conductor so these things we know and uh, just because an emf is induced in the rotor conductor from there current is developed torque is developed and the rotor starts rotating and also based on the lenz's law we say the rotor rotates in the same direction as the direction of the synchronous rotating magnetic field in order to reduce the relative motion between them okay so as the rotor body increases its speed gradually from the beginning what will happen the relative speed between the st uh, stator field and the rotor body decreases and as a result what happens as the relative speed decreases the uh, flux linkage or the rate at which that synchronous rotating field was cutting the rotor conductor that rate is re being reduced okay higher the relative speed higher will be the rate at which the conductors are cut or lesser the relative speed then lesser will be the rate at which the conductors are cut by that synchronous rotating field right so obviously if your relative motion is reduced the rate will be reduced if the rate is reduced obviously the rotating field of the rotor will uh, rotate at a lesser speed because the relative speed is reduced so the rotor field completely depends on the relative motion between the stator field and the rotor body if the relative motion is higher then rotor field speed will be higher if the relative motion is lesser the rotor field speed will be lesser that's it so in order to explain that thing to you i have given that example okay so here rotor field is, is nothing but your friend so as the rotor field uh, experiences the relative speed similarly here also in your friend is experience wants to experience the relative speed and that's why he starts running so you can now you can now relate these two things right next point is speed of rotor rotating field with respect to stator field is zero okay so obviously now your friend ha has 10 km per hour of speed okay he is experiencing inside the train but for outside world he is having a speed of 50 km per hour Wh why because he is inside train b and train b is running at 40 km per hour so these two things will add up and it will result in 50 km per hour so the speed of rotor field with respect to stator field will be zero because we already know stator field is having a speed of 50 km per hour that means train a actually in this example and what is rotor field your friend your friend is also having a speed of 50 km per hour for outside world so when your uh, when your friend will look at the train a while running at 10 km per hour he will think the train a and i are having same speed okay so that is why the speed of rotor field with respect to stator field is zero last point is speed of rotor field with respect to stator body is ns so that is very easy why because speed of rotor field rotor field means your friend your friend is running in 10 km with 10 km per hour inside the train that is okay but for outside world see with respect to stator body that means st stator body means a person that means you are standing on the platform so you are the part of the outside world so for you what will be the speed the speed of your friend will be 40 plus 10 that means 50 kilometers per hour which is nothing but ns so i think now this concept is clear to you um, questions uh, come from this concepts in every exam so if you have liked this video then please uh, share comment and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel in my next video lecture i will come up with uh, some interesting concepts like this till then goodbye and thanks for watching